459, we're following breaking news this morning out of Chesapeake, up in flames. Our Lex Gray was there to talk to the family who watched their home burn overnight in this huge fire. Plus, new this morning, hear from a witness who says he is not happy to hear about a late night armed robbery in his community. And watching the rivers today, how the damage could only get worse for several North Carolina towns today after Hurricane Matt. First, though, this morning, we are learning more about a huge overnight house fire in Chesapeake. Take a look at this video from the fire department where you can see smoke and fire billowing from the home. This is on Tafton Way in Great Bridge. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Our Lex Gray is live there now. She spoke with fire officials and the homeowners overnight. Lex, what have you learned? Well, Don and Katie, even while I was standing here with the family as they watched their house burn, they told me they are just grateful to be safe and well this morning. Let me step out of the way. I want to show you the firefighters are just now getting to pack up their hoses. The fire captain told me this family is lucky, but they were also prepared. They had working smoke alarms and that helped. Let's go to video from Captain Scott Saunders again. That shows just how intense it was when firefighters got here. They actually had to call for backup around 110. Then they got the fire under control within about 15 minutes, but hot spots kept popping up for more than an hour after that. A mom, dad, and their 21 year old daughter told me they were inside when it started. The daughter told me she was getting ready for bed. Then she heard the alarm, saw smoke coming from the guest room. When she opened the door, the curtains were on fire, so she got her parents and they all got out. None of them understand how it could have started there because they say nothing was plugged in and that room is empty except for some old clothes. Fire investigators are on the scene right now. Now that the fire is completely under control and put out, they're going to be working to figure out how this started. The family made it out with any, without any injuries. None of the firefighters were hurt either. And the Red Cross is going to be helping the family who lived here. Live in Chesapeake, I'm Lex Gray, 10 on your side.